Good morning, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How are you guys? Okay, so this is my first um, card making process video. I actually was commissioned this week to make a congratulation card for um, a, a neighbors of one of my clients who's going to be going off to Paris um, and work there for three years. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so this is very specific. So I went into my stash, uh, which is actually much easier to do than when, you know, the client doesn't quite know what they're looking for. Um, and one of, she thinks that one of her favorite color is blue. So I went into my stash and you remember the, um, paper crafting kit from paper studio that went on on clearance about a couple of months ago um they actually first reduced the list price of this kit from ten dollars to six dollars and then from the six dollars they went down to a dollar fifty which is basically 75 percent off so i picked up one or two of every single style they offer which was quite a bit <laughs> it was like 30 collections or something like that i went to a variety of of hobby lobby locations but in any case um this is what they came with in, in case you don't remember or don't know about it this is called pink passport um it actually features this really cute bow paper that's in blue so that was one of my consideration um this black and white one that has all the words on it but I quickly put that out because it definitely doesn't um doesn't match what I wanted to do and it really should just stay Paris it does have this cute um girl L but she's too big she's perfect for scrapbooking but not for this and then they had this cute um scooter this is actually called the uh, brand or now it become like kind of like Kleenex for, for this type of scooter. At least the one we used to have in our country, Vietnam, is called Vespa. So these are these cute Vespa. Um, I think they're more popular in the U.S. than here. I mean, in Europe than here, Europe and Asia. Um, and that has a lot of blue in it. So that was a wonderful consideration or the top consideration and then this very large floral paper that's all pink which was i also um quickly put it out into pasture um the collection also came with this beautiful um embellishment these are flower roses pink roses alphabets these almost like washi tape type of very thin um not even vellum very thin washi stickers if you use this either keep them thin for certain purposes like planners and things like that or i would definitely um or maybe even for um for shakers and things but if you're using it for as a sticker and embellishment i definitely would back it up with cardstock and then they had these beautiful three-dimensional um layered stickers in cardstock as well so i um i do i don't think these would work for me based on the design i had in mind and um so on but we're gonna go come back and revisit that okay so we're gonna start with this paper and um so the, the paper and especially if you look at the wheels on the on the vespa um it is white it's pure white not uh not cream or you know anything like that so i went ahead and thought that this paper then would work the best with um these kind of um colored cardstock like first of all the silver kind of as an accent and maybe one of these shaded blue i wasn't sure this is kind of like a shimmer metallic um paper this is a a um shiny foil cardstock and this is a matte foil cardstock in kind of like a, a pretty blue um anyway and what i wanted to what i was thinking of using it with is to make an easel card um out of with this die set that i had in my stash this is actually called the anna griffin 
um, easel frame die. This is the first easel frame die card die that she came out with. They have a whole collection now. I do believe that this is out of stock at the moment on AnnaGriffin.com, but um, they do have several other style. And I just picked this one for whatever reason. I thought it may work the best with what I had in mind, but there's an oval one, a heart shape, one, lots of them. Even a haunted house one, you guys, or a castle one. Gorgeous, some gorgeous stuff. It is a little bit higher in price, but her dies are gorgeous, very high quality. I never have any trouble cutting them. Um, and I do use an Anna Griffin um, Empress electronic die cutting machine. So anyway, I'm also for this um, this time, or well, this purpose, I was... I had purchased some actually for some of these dies they came on the magnetic board a really nice thick um, magnetic board but uh, after that they don't give them anymore after a while because it, it increased the cost of the product therefore they had to increase the cost to us um, but I did buy a few and they they are not inexpensive they're you can get them on anagriffin.com, the magnetic die storage sheet, six of uh, five of these for $30, so $6 each, okay? So, but they fit nicely for these particular dies because they, they are much larger and you do need an extender plate, a, lo a long plate for these to work with any of your die cutting machine, I believe. So anyway, it came with a uh, the actual uh, card part the, the card part die the base of the card it comes with a shadow die that um the shadow die that will you know frame out your kind of really pretty pretty die set there and then it came with two label or stuff whatever you want to call it so that you can use it for it so i'm going to leave it like that so i can reach for it a little bit easier so they do have very clear instruction in the back where they tell you that you need to cut one of each of these one of everything in the color of your choice but what I found was when I cut this out when I cut this out and you basically fold it to make to make this part and I'll show you in the partially finished card that I made so when you cut this out basically you get this okay and then you just fold this up fold this part up and this part is going to get um, glue onto the base piece here okay then you put the um, the actual beautiful detail frame onto this piece in the front but what I found was because this piece is slightly smaller than the base die you know it, it is slightly because it's supposed to fit inside here when I put the cards together like this it was showing the weird bit here that is white, which is the background. Unless you're using double-sided paper um, on everything, it will show that, which I did not like at all. So I actually went ahead and cut an extra piece of the background paper that I wanted um, in here, but I lined it up right here. So I didn't need this part. I just wanted, it. Um, and these were, most of these were, this one is not a, Five by seven is slightly bigger but basically you just cut i buy these in large sheet and i cut them out to five by seven most of the time until i have one of these easel cut then it's a little bit bigger like five and a half by uh, seven and a half and um, i just lined it up here so all i get is almost like this but slightly bigger and that's what i did with um this paper here Okay, so let me go through exactly what I did. I'm not going to go ahead and die cut everything out. I did not, again, because I forgot about this. So until I literally had to deconstruct a, a, quite a bit of the card, I almost finished um, to try to go through the process with you. But um, the, um, the base card, I did cut it out, this one, in silver, in the matte foil silver of that then I did a um, a layer of the so I, then I, I did another one we just talked about here which is in silver and I glued that together okay so I'm sorry I let me go back the the, the one that I just did this part I actually did it in the matte blue the matte blue um, matte foil 
the blue in the matte foil, which is that one, okay? And then you see the silver here, which is in the background there. It's a little bit harder to see, I think. I did that in the, <clears throat> basically this, this layer, which is this one here. I did that in a silver, okay? So that's the silver here. And then I did the um, real pretty, you know, emboss layer in um, in this in this one here. Okay, so, so this is not an embossed one. The embossed one is here, you can see. But um, I was going to do it this way. This was what I originally thought. And so I embossed it with the silver here. I was still going to back it up with the blue. But then this was going to be the shadow layer. But you see how you miss everything? And it's so sad because this, this really, the silver foil, really show all the embossing really well. But I would have lost all of the... Um, beautiful Vespa and so forth so the scooters so I decided not to do that when you did this with a thinner paper like what we were using and what they had given us in the paper crafting kit you really don't see hardly any of the embossing at all it actually was very difficult to even cut it because it was so thin um, and so on and you don't see any of that but it was fine I had to kind of scissor fussy cut a few of these out with my scissors as well but um that's okay because the effect is perfect i wanted that blue background and now it's basically ready to do for the easel card and the reason why i thought of the easel card initially is i remember that i got i have this um which is a beautiful laser cut piece that i bought oh my gosh must have been 20 years ago and i'm trying to show you what um it came from um i don't know deluxe cut I'm not sure deluxecut.com i'm sure they're out of they're out of business now <clears throat> but i bought them two of them one in silver and one in black in the small one and i also bought a, a large one and they were expensive <clears throat> 425 but i've done we my husband and i have done three trips to paris so i knew i was going to be using this um you know, one of these days, <laughs> which I haven't yet, but this project have gotten me to get out all those negatives from Paris and I'm going to be um, starting a book on that. So anyway, so that's what I use for that. And I knew that it was also larger than a five by seven card, which is the fa my favorite size of card. I know many people um, on YouTube are used to doing the A2 cards, which is like, what is it, four and a quarter by five and a half or whatever, something like that. But I just really like the larger size card, something like this, you know, something that more like what you get in the in a Hallmark um, store. But I knew that the this piece is even taller than that. And the only way I can accommodate that is either to do a slimline card, which, you know, is like the, the business envelope size or to do something where it can stand up on its own like that which is i much prefer that so that's why i decided to use the easel card now the uh the little piece here um when it's in silver when i put it directly here it's okay you know because it's black but um in silver when i put it directly onto this paper it would just got completely lost it was just i couldn't barely see it it was just so sad looking <laughs> so so i decided to back it up to a, a light blue paper in this case um something similar to this but it, it was not uh, metallic or shimmer and um and so on like for whatever reason i couldn't find a bigger piece than this and that didn't fit so anyway um so i backed it up to that and also because it is so thin and and uh, delicate there's no place for me to pop it up with foam dot and I really need a solid background in order to pop it up because I wanted to pop it up. So basically what I did was I pop, I glued down just, and I'm, I am loving this, um, based on my girlfriend's recommendation, Karen with Yes Please Pepper Craft on YouTube, I bought this big set. Um, you know, it comes with a small bottle, all the the pieces actually I got it leaked out a little bit here um and the larger filler bottle and I just today use it for the first time 
and it is so awesome for tiny things like this. So um, I use this to glue this piece onto the cardstock um, before I pop it up onto this layer. And I glue this paper, the, vest, the scooter paper, onto this matte silver foil cardstock flat because this paper was so flimsy. I didn't want it. It doesn't look good with foam dot because you can even see it and so forth. But once it's on the, the thick matte foil, um, I pop that up. Okay, so that way it gives, I love dimension, so I pop up everything I could, I could find. So that's basically that, okay? So um, if you have or have not worked with um, easel card, they're fun, they're super, they're just really fun to do. So anyways, I'm going to put this away real quick, so that way I have a little bit more space to finish up the card and show you what I've done um or so on i didn't i didn't finish it all the way and then until i finish it all the way you can't you kind of can't tell 100 percent what it's going to look like or what design you need so bear with me i also don't know how to edit my video so <laughs> um if i have if if i need to have you wait or something like that then i'm going to have to turn it off and start it again okay um anyway so um, I got to here, then basically I need more embellishment because the embellishment that was with that kit wasn't enough. Um, actually, no, I'm, I take that back. This was enough, okay, so for, for one of the piece. So I took this little girl. Um, now my, my client's neighbor is, um, I'm gonna move this too. My client neighbor is a blonde hair, blue eyed girl. Um, so I thought this just, you know, she works well. Elle works well in that. Now, Elle did not have as much foam. Um, th they were pretty cheesy. You know, it's an in inexpens inexpensive kit. They were cheesy with the foam. They didn't add very much. They just like for this piece, they just added this, th this one in the middle. So the head, everything was just flopping around. They also add just a single piece underneath these. So I didn't like the way if you press on one side, um, it just kind of seems like it falls over. So I thought she maybe would look really nice here at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower as if she's um, getting ready to, you know, go up there and see it, okay? Now, as I was looking at this too, after I stuck it down, and some of these you may, some of the glue dot, especially coming with kits, you may, since I put in new one underneath some of these, I, I'm not too concerned. Oh, and by the way, this this bottom one, because it's it's not on top of something that's already pop up, I actually added two uh, foam dots there, okay? So I had some new foam dots everywhere, so I wasn't too concerned, but if you're just using the foam dots that came with these type of thing you want to make sure you test the the stickiness of those and maybe add some additional glue um, liquid glue onto it because some of them are either it's too old or they don't use good quality enough glue uh, or foam dots that it just doesn't stick very well okay so i thought she's really cute but i felt like i don't know just just a little frenchy chic i want her to have a little bow here on her on her, um, between her skirt and her top. And I had recently hauled these um, cute little mini bows from AliExpress that was in my last Ali um, haul video. So I picked out the, the um, what do you call it? Oh, I gotta need something. I picked out the light, the, the white. They have a white and a cream in the set. I pick out the white one and um, to see if that may work, okay? And so I put it on here and it was okay, but it's a little bit big for this. So I uh, neg it and um, I didn't have anything small. I actually ordered a bunch of smaller bows, uh, dies from Ali recently, but they haven't come out yet. So I was kind of looking and I'm like, okay, what if I just take this bow from her hair and so on and that she still look good there because her hair has already three layers of foam on there and so i tested out and i liked it actually i did this part already so i'm gonna put that right there okay so 
right? She look all nice and coordinated. This bow is not very sticky because that was the original. That was the original um, thingy. Now this glue, you notice it comes out really fast. So don't be squeezing that baby because it's just going to ooze all over you. But it's really nice if you have arthritis or anything. You know, you don't have to squeeze a whole lot and um, so on. So I'm just going to layer that nicely and it will dry in a little bit and it will stick really well. Okay. So um, I still feel like I want something up here, but I'm going to leave it for now and work on the inside. Now, um, as with it, the, the easel card, the key to that is basically you want something that will stop it from sliding off here so that people can, when they get it, they can sit it on their desk or a mental and it will hold there. So that's why um, Anna Griffin had included these various bits with it, you know? And actually what they, what she did that I thought was really sweet. And if you look at this one, the one I originally was gonna use was I thought maybe something like this, right? This is the, the main die, the pretty frame die, the shadow die. And then this one is, I cut it in the silver. And then in order to get a shadow die for this one, I just turn it around, you know, where it's flat and trace it on blue paper. Okay, you see? Because I don't want this, I'm, I'm talking about not, I didn't use this por portion, but I just wanted to show you what you typically use these type of thing for. Um, so this I, doesn't go here. I do need something in a different color. And if I want to coordinate it like that, that's, so I just turn it around and trace it on here. But then when I put it on the piece, for me at least, and that's all personal choice, okay, is um, I felt it was a tad big for the um, shadow part. So I, I plan to, when I'm gonna use this, which I'm not using today, I do plan to use to trim it down a bit. Okay, I'm just, and if you want to, um, you can use a, um, uh, what, do we, what do you call it, a um, temporary, hold on a second, a temporary uh, removable tape roller type thing. I just picked this up from, I think, Hobby Lobby or something like that. If you wanted to just make it a little bit easier, you can add a little bit of glue there. Stick it on here so that it won't move around on you. But for me, I'm so used to doing this, I didn't need that. But, um, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all good with regards to that. So you see, if I move it over a little bit, I just need to trim one side. Maybe I don't need to trim much on the other side at all. But um, also, I wanna tell you that I just got these scissors from Tim Holtz, the um, micro serrated uh, five inch cush nip, cush grip, I could never say those, cush grip um, scissors and they are amazing i've been wanting to get it but i already have my fiskers that is um titanium based so it doesn't get all sticky on glue and any piece like that but you see how this holes versus these holes so i figure you know the guy designed it tim holes is a guy and he designed it to stick his you know big fingers in there so it should work for my big thumb and it is so amazingly comfortable look at this you know it's flexible, it's soft on your finger, nothing get caught anywhere. And so that's, love it. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Amazon have it, Simon says, every single company has it. And of course, Tonic Studio. I think I actually got mine with a um, Tonic Studio bundle, kind of those weekend or tool bundles thing that they do every week. And so I got it along with the, um, cutting you know what do you call it a uh, guillotine the one the smaller one and so forth so basically you do that on here if you like or you can use it as a stopper here you can put sentiment um whatever you like okay so that's basically what that is um i did not use this one i decided i wanted to use the other one and where did i put the other one so i can show you here it is 
I decided to do this one because what I wanted to do was do a stopper here and um, I got glue everywhere here, which um, no worries because I have the glue thing in. Actually, it's probably going to, I have one of those glue rubber eraser thing. I'm going to put one here to stop the, the pictures and that's just going to have the pretty sentiment. And I'm going to do one here to um, to put the sentiment that the family want me to, to put in the card for the for her and uh kind of like nice typed up and they can just sign around in the back and stuff like that um and that fits this whole thing better than if i were to use this okay it's a little bit too thin and not enough the the sentiment that i uh created for the family was um was bigger than that okay so basically the the other trick that i did so again same thing I cut a piece out, and I don't know if I even have it here. I cut the piece out with the main die, this die, which cuts right here on the inside. Then I turn it around, put it on a piece of paper this way, and trace around that, and that became my shadow die, the, the slightly larger die for this size. And then I did it one more time. I took the um, the bit, the paper bit that I traced. Once I cut it out, I did I trace it again and cut around that. Okay, so I did it twice. Um, so I did a smaller one. The, this one is actually the pink one. And then I just did a little bit bigger. And I did one that was black. Originally, I just did the white. Originally, I did blue. But then it was just seems so blue um, with everything we have going on there when it when it goes on right there. So I and and the white on pink on blue or white on blue on pink. Uh, those three layers just didn't look good together. They were just a little too pale and it needed to be grounded with some black. And I tried also, and I knew it wasn't going to work. I did um, white on pink and then black at the end. And then this version, which I like the best. I've always tend to do this. If I have a light color in, in the front, I always back it up with a dark one and then a lighter one. So basically that's the sentiment that I came up that um, that the family loves. So I'm gonna put it right there um, on foam dot. And then um, I created the same one, basically exactly the same one, but for the sentiment, which I'm gonna put here. And I, um, the, the sentiment, congr congrats, I didn't finish it just so I can show you what I do, but there's nothing special about that. I took these flower. I really wanted to use these these roses alphabet, but they are really, really. It's just too so busy. You can't see it at all. Um, I try to put it onto white cardstock and cut around it to give it a little bit of a, a shadow layer in white, but that just drown out the whole thing. So I went ahead and back it onto a black cardstock and cut around that. And by the way, those stickers have no stickiness whatsoever. As soon as you take them off, you stick them on paper or whatever, they just don't seem to hold very, very bad quality glue there. So I highly recommend sticking some glue, some other glue on, on top of it before you glue it down. Okay, glue it down onto the black paper or onto your project itself. So I left two um, and what I do is typically you start, uh, I'm sure you know this already, but you start with kind of the more middle, um, middle da -da -da letter. And that way you can try to space it out. I knew this was not going to fit, but it's close enough. And I don't mind that it stick out at the, at, on the side. Okay. And so all you do is you, oops, all you do is you put a little bit here you see how it just comes right out i'm not squeezing nothing anything i know i know the right grammar but sometimes you just like to say the word nothing um okay then i'm just gonna stick it on here now it's a little bit unlevel because of the two level of cardstock that i have there actually i have three level just because so i'm gonna need to get a little bit more glue in there because it is very unlevel okay, and I might have to do something else once it gets down there. Okay, that seems okay. 
Okay, and let's do our little S. So again, the S have a little bit more space, so hopefully I don't have to double glue on that very uneven side of the um, of the label. Okay, so that's that right there. And then, um, basically, they didn't have anything else for me to use. So I had to go out and look for things. And I, all I wanted here was maybe a few flowers kind of on the side. And um, I love Anna Griffin. So I have a lot of her, um, whatchamacallit, embellishment. So I have her flowers, stickers, and things like that. And where did they all go? I had, oh, it fell down. So I had this one, which is part of her mini flower stickers, uh, three-dimensional. It's actually on foam dot, but it's a pretty thin foam dot. I don't want it on any foam dot, so I just kind of pull it apart, and I don't want it in a big piece like that because, you see, it doesn't really fit anywhere um, and so forth. So I took it apart, and I added, um, last night, I just added some some glitter, glitter glue on top to just to give it a little bit more oomph. Um, very uh, Paris chic and I dropped the other piece somewhere that there were three pieces of flower there was this piece right here so anyway if I when I find it I will put it together but I believe I wanted that piece up there I don't know it Things, something like that. and don't feel afraid to overlap it on top of the words or something like that you know it doesn't have to be all so perfect with regards to that so I'm gonna bend that a little bit and then get some pop dot now I um, always I don't know why I came up with this and this actually is just my um, I got this was came in a eyebrow manicure set but I like how short it is a lot more control I got one of those that have a really pointed tip and so forth that people recommend but for whatever reason it's just I, I it just doesn't work for me so I like this one I'm going to use that one and these is so easy you know what you do is this just comes right off like this so I pull these out I like that and usually I pull them out all at the same time, like a whole row. That way I don't have to keep doing it as I'm working my project. So I just do that and then find the, the right um, form, I mean the right placement for it, whatever I like to do. And I think I like it down here because once I find the other piece, I think it looks... I don't know. She may like it up here as well. We'll see how it goes. Now, my friend Karen told me that it's really hard to talk and think and design at the same time, which I totally agree, but I will try it. So it's not dead silence for you since I don't know how to do the other bit. I'm sure I'm going to you know, find some other pieces and finish adding some of that here. Okay, so now to to figure out where to put this placement, you kind of wanted to see how do you, where do you want to stop? Do you want it this far, which you can't. In this particular case, I'm going to add it right here. I like it standing up kind of like, you know, like some of them, if you use something much thinner, then it can slide like this, which I don't like. I want it, you know, standing like you're awake. Um, and not, not just uh, whatever. So again, these really do require to, for it to nicely stop the, um, the card from falling off the, um, the thing. See, I'm taking, I forgot my, tr my desk trash can over there. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, and you wanna be generous with these. These now, the, the, um, the piece here is quite thick, so you don't, it won't sag, so you won't need as many pop dot, but still, you know, you wanted to hang around, I'm gonna do one more right smack in the middle, 
You don't have to be too careful with it, but I try to distribute the weight of the piece as much as I can. Okay, and let's, actually I think this was just gonna be good sort of at the end here. Uh oh, see, I told you that one was just gonna be a problem child for me. I'll check, make sure there's plenty of room for that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'll glue that down later. And um, did my big head just hit the uh, camera again? I'm telling you, with the, my bad eyesight, it's amazing how I, I can put makeup on in the morning because as you get older, I mean, actually I had bad eyesight from the beginning. <laughs> so that's not even an excuse. Okay, see, see, I put that on before. Like, I mean, I didn't actually, that one I forgot to reinforce. Originally I was just used regular glue. And then when it started to give me trouble, I went back and opened up my berry art. I mean, my, um, is it called berry art, right? Yeah, berry art one. But I couldn't remember which one I did it already and which one I didn't. So some I did and some I did not. Okay. Yeah, this one's going to be a trouble. I'm going to have to use something a little bit thicker later on. All right. So at least for now, you can see how that's going to look, right? Look at that. Cute. All right. So then the other th consideration, if you ever wanted to make your own cards to sell or anything like that, is where on the card on this kind of card, a little bit more specialty, should you put your little, you know, thingy handmade by or whatever. Um, and in this one, because the back is all white and I do not plan to back it up with another color paper or anything like that, I thought it'd be nice like here. That way I can hide this this little, um, whatchamacallit, um, um, what do you call that? The, the the seam or whatever of the the flap where you're where you're trying to get it to back up on the stuff so I'm gonna put it right smack in the middle of that okay and this just say handmade by with love by Rosalie Duong my phone number in case other people wants to order something and then my uh, website rdfashionboutique.com okay so there we go on that make sure it's still able to fold right there yep it is a little stiffer so you have to uh, put it underneath a heavy book after this okay all right so yeah i definitely want to embellish this a little bit more but that's okay for now all right then this i'm i'm considering and this is maybe a place where i'm gonna have to stop the video a little bit or whatever if I can't find something that I like but I was thinking of using the word Paris maybe across here so I found these stickers in my stash with this word Paris here but it's it is a very thin um, sticker of course and so if I wanted to use it I would definitely need to back it up with um, with with um, cardstock these were from recollections I got it for a dollar um, and which, you know, I can kind of drape it across this. Let me see how that would gonna look. You know, something like that. That may be nice, but it's kind of a little bit redundant because, you know, we know it's already pairs and this is so blue and everything else is already so blue. So I don't know, I'm not sure I like that bit. Although I could also say something else like explore or or whatever or adventure. That's another thing I could do. You know, adventure is kind of nice because this is kind of an adventure for her. Um, then I also found these um, recollection stickers that I got um, this year from uh, or this year or whatever from. Um, 
for a dollar and it has these this one right here which i also like i'm not sure if it's gonna be too big um or not but it is let's try it it's not bad it's not bad at all what do you think hmm talk to me talk to me i know it's actually really pretty because the pink pops up you know some of the pink down here and so forth and then my other thought using these stickers right here is maybe may or maybe i can do both but i thought maybe i can i don't know what the heck why these balloons were kind of all over the place like this i guess they meant for you to use it however way you want but i thought maybe i can have her holding her balloons in in the other hand say wee wee and then get the blue in the middle that's really cute These stickers are super pretty. Right? What do you guys think about this version? I want one to be kind of lower down here. So I have to glue that down, the string down in a certain way to make sure that it stay lower something like that instead of having the pairs across the front hmm 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 i actually i really like these balloons but i think this makes a lot more impact on this on this um on this layout yeah, this is cute, and I love it, and I'm going to use it on my own layout, but I think I'm going to go with this one. I'll make sure these are sticky enough. It looks good right now. I'm going to do it right there. It's going to be very clear where she's going. If somebody doesn't recognize to their fed, but, you know, since Paris Paris in Vegas have the... Um, miniature version of that on the strip i think everyone knows that this is part of france actually i think i like it a little bit higher now of course i already stuck it down what you think what you think huh maybe i still want to give her a balloon just one, just one for good measure. Oh, so cute. Should I do blue? Blue or that one? Nope, no blue. That one has no business being there. Nothing in the color scheme works there. So we're gonna stick this underneath her hands here. And I'm gonna get a, um, Sticky dot. So now, because I don't use my, um, whatchamacallit, my Fisker non-stick thingy anymore, I use it mostly to cut my glue dots. Anything that has glue on it, because that allows me to not have anything stick to my scissors. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to stick that there, and that will allow me to stick this little balloon thing there. Maybe I pull it down further so it doesn't intervene. Oh, now of course I stuck it to the sticky bit. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to speed up on this now. Okay, so this go underneath here. And now she has a cute little balloon in her hand. How's that? Yeah? Alrighty then. 
So the only thing left I need to do is embellish this a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to move this a little bit lower. And I need to clean that up with my rubber glue thingy. Do you know what those are? If you've seen those, they're really nice. You know, if you have any glue residue anywhere, they take it right off on your paper crafting projects. Let me see if I have that here. Um, nope, I don't have it here, so I have to do it afterwards, but that's basically what it is, all right? So I hope you find this helpful, give you some ideas for your trips to Vegas or any easel cards you may want to make or if you wanted to try to go find this this kit from um, Paper Studio. So, so cute, yeah? And then your, your information's in the back. My client uh, family can sign back here. I gotta clean that up a little bit too. And there you go. She's gonna treasure it all the, for all the time that she's gonna be in Paris. So I hope you liked the video and um, I will see you next time. Thank you so much and you have a wonderful um, week. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan Again. So after I stopped the video and start uploading, I realized that I forgot to show you how to create a custom envelope um, because of course this, the size of my card is a little bit off-sided. It's not standard. It's five by eight, including that little uh, tout de fel T uh, top so I um, I wanted to show you that as well as showing you the final cards after I finish it so I found these um, or I got this uh, paper studio thin uh, 180 sheets uh, thin paper pads a couple maybe a month ago when they had that big clearance sales from $22 to $5.50 and I really like this pad it's called Far From Basic and it has a lot of really cute things it has 60 design three sheet each and look you know very funky I, I showed this in my haul uh, a little bit teenagerish teenage teenagerish <laughs> is that the right word anyway got really cute donuts and coffee cups and hearts and things like that so I was trying to find something to match um, this card and I didn't really want to use uh, um, that one since I only have two sheet of paper of that and I already used one for this I want to save it since I love those scooter um, and the the I didn't want to use any other paper pad that's a little bit thick this thin one are just perfect for making envelopes because you don't want it bulky and it's hard to fold um, so I was flipping around and I found this sheet which is the lips one I thought it was perfect to um, to showcase because it is um, you know Paris, uh, Paris with love and all of that so I figure I'll use that to show you and basically what you wanted to um, consider is um, now the paper is 12 by 12 that's usually what most of us have we don't have any kind of weird size paper and um, the card is actually five by eight so you wanted to be able to do something in the middle here in order for you to um, make sure it fits okay and what you could do too is maybe go on here to kind of center it a little bit not center, but um, no, I'm going to use, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use these lines right here on the board of my table to sort of make sure they're kind of even, these two points. Okay, you want it kind of more on the, on a, um, the, on the same horizontal line. And then, you know, if you want to do it really like super, um, what's the word, careful and scientific and mathematically correct, then um, you're welcome to measure it more. You know what? I'm going to hold on. I'm going to use my longer um, thing because I think that would be better. And okay, I think my big head just hit the pole or the telephone again. Okay, so this is 17. I'm going to do 8. So that's mean that uh, 17 minus 8 is 9. It's about 4.5, a, a little bit bigger than 4.5 on each side. Okay, and I hope this will fit 1, 2, 3, 4, about 4.5, a, a little bit less on each side. Okay, and then that's where you're going to want to score your 
uh, paper vertically. And so I don't know how to do that exactly, but let's see if I can mark that down all the way from the number four right there. So you see my mark line is here. So I'm going to try to go like that to go straight across from the four line there. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we'll do the same here, just straight across. Let's do the four line again. It had worked for us in the past, so hopefully, I don't know if I'm straight, but um, we'll see hopefully it is. Okay, so that's, okay, it's a little bit bigger, but that's fine. And then um, that's eight across, and then we have these, um, it's just five in. Now, does that look straight? This does not look straight. These two do not look straight. This one is, seems straight. One of them is not straight. So anyway, let me fix that real quick because not the pencil. Okay. Oops, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay, more like that. Okay, and then because it's five across, we're gonna go, we'll make sure that we have five in the middle here, or a little bit more than five. And so we're probably gonna fold like right here, and I'm gonna go 5.25 5 here. Okay. And just go straight down from there. I should probably do that side too. Okay, I do have a board. I probably should have used it, but <clears throat> the board is was from um, um, Crafter Companion. They have one of those boards uh, that I gotta make sure this is straight. <clears throat> Crafter Companion because um, they have these envelope boards and things like that, and I know that uh, we are memory keeper. Probably have one too. I'm not sure if this is straight, but. That will help me with the line a little bit. You know what? I'm going to fold it first on this side, on both sides, and that way, same ones, the paper is smaller, it'll be a little bit easier to see. Okay, totally, totally lopsided here, which we don't want. Okay, but we're going to go with it and see it's it's okay to be funky I, I like that actually i like that you know it's okay to be a little funky because we're from we're from france it's not so fun that she gets to go to live in france for um a year right oh so nice and um, I'm not even going to bother cutting this bit off because usually you want to cut that part off just so it's not very bulky. But since um, this is such a thin paper, I'm not even going to worry about it. And then I want to make sure that I got glued at the place where it needs to glue and not where it's going to glue itself to the, to the bottom of this. This one I can do it the whole way. Okay, I'm out <laughs> of all the time in the world to come out, to be out. And with um, this thin paper, you don't want to use wet glue. So either use a glue stick or use, um, or use um, you know, tape runner. Okay, because they tend to wrinkle. Okay, I like that. It's kind of cool. Okay, now before everything harden up, let's make sure that it fits our, oh shoot, I didn't make it fit. Okay, let's fix that baby. So 
So we want to make this side maybe bigger. Or this side. I'll do this side. So very scientific the way I do it, huh? I'm going to make sure this fits now before we seal everything. I actually made one already that's uh, very nice already. So this is just to show you. Um, but and I want to make sure I put extra glue here, extra glue bit here. Make sure everything get glued down well. Alrighty. And if you have any little bit of glue left on the thing, this was the rubber thing I was telling you about um, to get glue residue or glue gone. Okay, and then, yep, that fits fine. Then what you want to do is go there and basically fold it down. Oh, I like this one. I like how it's asymmetrical. See, it doesn't have to be even to be pretty. Right, and then in this side, you definitely want to remove this little bit because um, this bit is going to show and it's going to inhibit you from putting the card into the envelope. So we do want to remove that. I really like this new Sizzy. It is supposed to be a more detail, of more like for fussy cutting. Um, but it's a little thick on the top, so I don't like to use it for that. But it's so soft to use on the on the handle, so I decided to keep it. I bought a I bought it when I bought the Tim Holt just to kind of check out different brands, and I usually buy several of the same thing, not of the not from the the thing that does the same thing for me, and then I tested them, then I return the one I don't like. Or sometimes I keep it just because I like them for something else. So anyway, so check that. Make sure nothing stick out at the back. No, and this is okay. You know, it's like if you that bothers you, you can put some washi tape or something like that on that side so that it doesn't bug you. And um, so now let me show you the final card that I did. And so basically, the front didn't change, and on the inside. Do that. I added the little um, glitter heart here. It's actually a button. And then this one, um, I didn't like the way that it was just the flower didn't really go. So I added a bow and changed the flower to a couple of different level of dimension. And I see I did find that one. Um, and there it goes. So this one I got from Hobby Lobby, just in case you want to know under called dress it up it's button for 74 cents and uh, originally three dollars and basically all you do is you take you look at the back you may want to keep it a f you know some of them since i don't sew at all um i took it i'm gonna take them all apart and just use your your snipper you know it's just plastic and sip, s snip it off close so now it's, it has a flat back now you can even use it as a capuchon if you want to add those one of those clear bales so you can use as a pendant but it's so pretty i love the pink so i thought that works really really well for the card and um that was that all right so hope you enjoy and i will talk to you later bye